Happy Wisdom Wednesday, everyone. So I wanted to bring back a book from a long time ago and redo it again because it, I think some great lessons, you can never visit them too often. And that book is Lynchpin, Are You Indispensable by Seth Godin. Seth Godin is uh, somebody who had a tremendous and remarkable impact on my life as a young marketer when I first got started. Now, Seth is a marketer, but really he's a philosopher, and he's written uh, over 18 best-selling books. This is the first book of his that I read, and this was back, I believe, in 2015. Um, and this book is a book that I recommend really to anybody, but especially young professionals, because it'll teach you how to be a linchpin, how to be indispensable to an organization. Now, when I first read this book, I was really uh, down and depressed because I felt like I wasn't doing my best work at my company. Um, I felt that um, I didn't feel important, and I wanted to, you know, figure out a way to change things. And somehow, this book came into my life. You know, one thing I tell people is that you really don't choose books; the books choose you. And so, this book chose me. And this book uh, is, is fantastic. I love Seth's writing style because it's very easy to read and it's very entertaining. And a lot of times, as you can see from this book and many of his books that I have, um, there's a lot of highlights in it, right? Which is the mark, I think, of a good book is when you see somebody that's highlighted in it, it's a good sign. And so this book will teach you how to be indispensable, but I'm going to share with you the keys that come out of this book. That doesn't mean it's a replacement for it, but it gives you something to think about. Now, when it comes to being a linchpin in an organization, what makes you indispensable is two things you have to keep in mind. Number one is that there's a long line of people that are trying to take credit for things, and that line will go on forever. But there's a much, much shorter line for people who are looking to step up and take on responsibility. Take on the responsibility so that when things fail, you own up to it, but when things go well, you deflect the credit, right? By doing that, more people want to work with you, and then people will realize the person who has the responsibility is the one who really has the influence, right? And that's how you become indispensable. So let me share with you the seven keys to being a linchpin. So number one is providing a unique interface between the members of the organization. That means that you can perhaps contribute to the culture, figure out how we can run meetings better. More importantly, how do we set up goals? Maybe it's through objective uh, key measures, OKRs, as they're called. Right? How do you have it so that people can interface between each other and the organization, and then also maybe the organization and customers? The second thing is delivering unique creativity, right? It could be that maybe all you're responsible for is doing booths at a conference. So how can you deliver something that's very unique and creative, something that means something and it will be missed if it was gone? The third is managing an organization or situation of great complexity. This is one place that a lot of responsibility has been essentially uh, uh, left, left because when it comes to something that's really complex, a lot of people don't want to take the responsibility of that. If that's the case, hey, the responsibility is there for you on the table, go ahead and grab it. The fourth thing is leading customers. So if you're, let's say, a young product manager, hey, find ways to interact with customers. Find ways to gain the most value out of them, right? So if you become really good at that, people will notice it. It's something that becomes indispensable. The fifth one is inspiring staff. Hey. You know, one thing that I can tell you that is actually a skill is having a positive attitude, right? And so positive attitude doesn't mean that you're speaking it, right? The positive attitude can be simply by the energy of what you give off and how you decide to go about your day, how you handle things and what you do. And when people see that, they're inspired by those actions. The sixth thing is providing deep domain knowledge. So there could be a new product that's launched in a very specific area that a lot of people don't know about, right? So when you have deep, specific knowledge, that becomes indispensable. And the last thing is possessing a very unique talent. Hey, the one thing that you should always try to do as a professional is develop a very deep talent stack, right? So that could be getting better at public speaking, learning more about persuasion, getting uh, really good at managing, let's say, uh, a dashboard of objective key results, right? Whatever that might be, start getting that deep domain knowledge and developing that talent stack and then you become indispensable. So through those seven things, that's how you become a linchpin. So go out and get the book. If anything, maybe even listen to it on audiobook, but I know that this will have an effect on your life if you let it. So that's the book of the week. Happy Wisdom Wednesday, and as always, I'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.